Hello Captains, welcome back to another video. Um, <clears throat> my name is Adam and this is P3D version 4.3. Uh, at the moment we've got Active Sky doing our weather with uh, Skyforce 3 doing invective textures. And we are part on the small island of Barbados at the Grantley Adams Airport. Now I have a freeware add-on for Barbados Airport that I thought I will give this a go and I will see what it's like. Now this is the default, this is what has come with it, so like has come with the sim and what Orbex um, global base has input in and what uh, Rex Airports HD has given us. So all the everything you see at the moment here is, uh, I mean we'll class it as default but it's it's actually looking really nice. I think it's uh, quite good. You've got some sort of photo real hotel there and buildings and the trees uh, will be from ter Terraflora. So it's uh, <coughs> it's totally um, acceptable and lovely. So let's take off and we'll have a little flit around the island and we'll see from the air uh, what it looks like. We're going to try and get up to at least, uh, you know, um, four, th maybe th three or four thousand feet. Um, frames at this end of the world uh, are steady 60, um, unlike the wind which is trying to knock me off the runway. Um, let's take this sucker in the air now. Um, oh, hello, we've got a jet uh, over there. So, yeah, looking out over there, we've got uh, lovely uh, blue sea water. And there is the island with FS Global sorting out the terrain mesh for us. Ooh, let's uh, engine down. We're not going to, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to actually look too much at the uh, ground at the moment because the textures are a bit. Uh, um, but, you know, s frames are perfect in this uh, part of the world, it seems. Uh, Barbados is not a massive island. It's a very small island. We could probably see the other side of it if we uh, went around to the back here and just turned the camera. You can literally see... Well, eh, eh, maybe not. Um, as you can see the, from, the air, from the air, the airport is very basic. You've literally got a couple of airlines in the basic um, airport there. <clears throat> so we're just at a thousand. Let's uh, go up to two and three thousand and uh, we'll have a little scan along the coast. See what everything looks like at two thousand feet in the air. The, uh, the freeware add-on that I got I found on a website uh, Fly Simulation I think it's called. Um, it's a photo reel uh, Barbados, so I don't know what it's going to bring me. Uh, it might, it might be rubbish. I might have to delete it off. Um, there seems to be quite a lot of buildings down here, so if it keeps them or not, I won't know. Uh, coastline, ooh, gosh, coastline at the moment is a bit ugly. Like uh, that was a bit of a mis mismatch texture there for the. Uh, that must be the airport taking over the default sort of texturing. So let's do another turn. Uh, over there the uh, the water looks really nice. Textures look really nice. Let's get up to 2000. We'll have a look out the window. Yeah, that looks pretty decent now. 2000 degrees high. Uh, yeah. It's looking, it's looking much better there. And I've actually reduced some of my sliders. Um, you know, I used to have my autogen density slider put to the max. And I, I, I limited that right down. And it really has helped with the, the frame rates. Um, some boats or something over there. Some sort of harbor, maybe. Uh, so let's go up to 3,000. And uh, nice uh, texturing on the clouds there, which has nothing to do with Barbados, but just thought I'd mention it. There is another airport uh, 
on Barbados called Bridgetown City and it's quite literally over here somewhere in fact that building them buildings are probably it um, the island does snake off a little bit if I uh, get the airplane to snake off a little round there so there'll be a little uh, wa uh, water that you can hop across so when we look out the window at um, two and a half thousand let's just level the plane off now you know the, t the textures are totally acceptable the trees really do fall in line well with the, the the texture that's down here the roads the layout and everything really looks nice uh, got absolutely no qualms here um, so that's uh, that's Barbados the defaults what we have with Orbex Global P3D uh, what it's throwing at us, which to be honest, this is totally acceptable, uh, you know it, I, At the end of the day, I don't think it's the correct layout. I don't think you can do VFR flying around here But it does put the uh, the roads aligned correctly with houses and autogen and the mapping of fields and the mapping of the town area is correct and that's really what global base uh, is good at doing um, or sort of global base, sorry, is giving you the textures. That's what the vector of Orbex is good at doing, is um, making sure they all fit together nicely. And then, of course, uh, I don't think I have land... I don't think uh, there is any land class data for this area. I don't, because there's North America and South America, but this is kind of mid-Americas, and so I don't know if it does fall in to that... Uh, that whole thing but here you know it looks pretty good the the airport does stick out a little bit of a sore thumb but uh, you know when you're f far away it, it's 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 okay but uh, we're gonna bring it around now and uh, we're gonna land this sucker and uh, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up uh, for the second part of this video the freeware add-on and we can just just sort of see what kind of quality we get from freeware because Hawaii uh, if you uh, have a look at Hawaii in one of my earlier videos that was totally freeware uh, that was found on the website Rico R-I-K-O-O -O, and it is really nice uh, freeware it's the uh, it details in photo real detail the whole all the islands of Hawaii and uh, in that video you I do actually several tests to see if um, it actually stands up against uh, mega sceneries uh, f f sort of photo real uh, terrain textures and it actually beats them it actually looks a lot better than that so and it looks better than the Orbix global base of what you know it sort of gave us for this area um, for in Hawaii, uh, it looked a lot better than that as well because obviously it is actual placements of everything. So, right, let's uh, bring this sucker down onto the runway. I can see the runway just coming into view now. Um, as always, the sea looks gorgeous over this side. Look at that! Oh yeah, and the weather. Is, I mean, you cannot fault the weather or the sea. It's always looking good. You know, it's the land uh, and the airports that we're really concerned with. And at the moment, I've only installed the C-152 and the C-172. I use the C-152 in all my videos at the moment just to sort of fly around at a low altitude to sort of see the benefits of how good the actual scenery can be. And then we use the um, C-172 for online VATSIM flying uh, with the Canadian Express livery um, sort of virtual airline that I'm with uh, right let's line this sucker up let's give the first aid of flaps and we'll land see the airport really does stick out that airport is just a blotch uh, square Volvo patch uh, on the land of Barbados and you know it, it it does really stick out and this to be honest this whole island doesn't ha look like it's had great attention paid to it um, it does kind of just look like a cartoon um, area 
so there's not like a lot of stuff you can get from Barbados. I don't know if it falls in with any particular um We're not too high love actually, thank you very much. Just need do need to apply some flaps though. Definitely not too high. Um yeah, there's. I don't know if it actually has any, like, if there's any scenery that it falls in with, you know. And, uh, you know, we only went to, what, two, three thousand feet. But for me, um, for training purposes of actually landing a plane, I'd like to have it as real as possible, as low to the ground as possible, because that way, when I'm up in the air, I know it's going to look great. And if it can handle the frames on the ground, then it's more likely to handle the frames in the air, you know. So that's my sort of thinking. Right. I think I'm a little bit over here, but we're going to get it there. Coming in nice. I always land a bit to the left. I always seem to do that. Let's try and scooch you over a little bit. There we go, and put our final stage of flaps on. And we can just pull back and... Oh! That was a bit of a bump. And there we go. Another happy landing. Right. So, um, we are going to leave this video here, and in part two of this video, we I'll have installed the Barbados scenery, and we shall see what it looks like. Uh, take care, everyone, and I'll see you in a mo. Bye-bye. Okay, welcome back to part two of the video. Uh, so I've installed the scenery from uh, Flight Simulations, I think it was called. And it's the Barbados scenery. And the uh, Grantly Adams is a, a freeware add-on um, by a gentleman whose last name is Mautz, M-A-U-X. Um, so the, the airport itself, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's looking pretty okay. Um, it's um, sort of bare bones, but uh, it's still, I mean, it's still very nice. The texturing is nice, and judging by the video, it's looking better than it did in the video. Um, the runway looks different as well. So. Uh, let's take this sucker to the air and see what it looks like from the air. I'll uh, remove the video from there now. So, taking off. Um, for some reason, um, when I loaded up the software, uh, the add-on, it, it positioned the plane uh, in a different spot on the runway from, that, like, from now on. So, it's that's kind of weird, but it's not a big deal because for most flights I will literally be taken off from like I'll be put in at the gate so it's not going to be any type of big deal but uh, just looking at the uh, the airport as we take off uh, I, I can tell already that the there's a lot more been added to it it was a very bare bones airport those uh, rampways there those uh, they look like nicely detailed and it blends in a lot better with the uh, the scenery around us now. Um, there was a bit here that just cut out completely. It looks so weird. There's been added mesh as well, by the looks of it, um, for that raised section there. So what we need to do is we just need to get to 3,000 feet, because that's the height at which we did the other video. And we can check out and see what it looks like from the air. Um, Frame-wise, it hasn't taken a hit whatsoever. It's exactly the same, 60 frames, um, as the other one. The, uh, the ocean, uh, if we can get a shot of that, looks uh, very much the same as well. That it hasn't changed the ocean surrounding it, so that still looks gorgeous. Um, just at a thousand feet at the moment, so we'll circle around and then we'll come back and land the sucker, just like we did in the other video. Um, so the, the, the scenery itself, the Barbados, uh, was released last year, um, I'm sure it's called Flight Simulations, and you can buy it for like 20 quid, I think it is, 
Um, and it's a like a photo real texturing of the whole island of Barbados. So all the houses are accurately placed now. All the fields, all the trees, all the forests, they're all as they are on Barbados. Whereas before, an Orbix base was deciding where everything went, it was just kind of throwing it down wherever. And, you know, it looks nice, it looks very good and detailed and realistic, but it wasn't accurate to where everything is placed. And if you're using charts to fly into an airport, you do kind of need to know what terrain is underneath you. And if it's not mapped out correctly, well, there's no VFR flying possible then, is there? Because uh, you'll never know where you are on that uh, on this island. So for me, it is important. Now, I am experiencing a little bit of stuttering, um, which I don't think we had before, but that might be because I'm recording as well. So the video might be adding to it, but like from even 2,000 feet here, it looks great. It looks uh, less detailed, in fact, than it does before. And in fact, the manual does say that the preferred settings are extremely dense. I think I've got mine set to dense. So that's probably why while there's not you know, so many buildings or features lying around because uh, I've taken a few off. But the airport integrates much better into it now. So we're just climbing up to two and a half thousand now. And we're going to swing back around for the runway. Yeah, I think I do, now that I've got it installed, I think uh, I do prefer ooh, the wind. I think I do prefer the look of this one than the, the Orbix Global Base one. Um, just, it does, like, the te I, I, I mean, I, before we even get to 3000, I know the texturing isn't going to look as good. You know, the fields don't look like field fields, you know, it's they look a bit weird. Right, here we are at 3000 now, so let's trim this sucker out. Um, one thing I noticed as well is that the mesh has changed. Um, I believe it's got 15 meter mesh installed in with it. So I don't know what FS Global had assigned to Barbados, um, if it was 38 meter mesh, but this is more detailed can see the bumps and the lumps more in the land here now. Um, so, looking out the window now, I mean, yeah, the, it, it looks nice, it looks fine. You know, uh, all these farms down here are totally accurate to how they are in Barbados, so what I'm seeing now is exactly what I'd see in Barbados. Um, so if I wanted to do some VFR flying uh, in Barbados, I could very easily. Um, from what I understand, there are two airports on uh, Barbados. There is the Grantley Adams, which we took off from, and then there is Bridgetown City, which um, I haven't even seen <laughs> as I've been doing this. But uh, yeah, it's very nice. The fr I've noticed the frames are jumping around. Um, even Barbados isn't such a big area, but it made the, it is making the frames jump around a lot more than it was before. So the textures aren't loading as fast as they were before. Um, let's turn around and begin to come down now. See the traffic on the roads. I think again with the uh, the time that you fly is important to how everything looks. So if we were flying earlier in the morning, see that looks a lot better. Uh, let me slow right down. If we were flying in the evening, again things are just like that looks gorgeous, you know. Um, it really does depend on the time of day you fly. We're right in the smack middle of the afternoon, so it's like Uglyville compared to other times of days. I think that's why most people, when they put these videos up on 
YouTube you see them and they're all flying in the sunset. <laughs> That's probably why. So it's a bit of a clearer day now than it was before. Clouds were out in force. The airport's over there. It's a shame that Barbados isn't, because um, it's a well-known tourist uh, island, but um, it's not very, you know, there's not that many sceneries. I think this is the only scenery I've encountered for Barbados. So, um, it's, it's not that highly uh, looked upon for some reason. Right, this is the a very short approach this is. The shortest one I've ever attempted. Usually you give yourself a bit longer leeway on the runway here. You're literally turning into land. This is the first time I've had to flaps on a turning. Still about a thousand. Yeah, the airport is uh, only got the one runway, it looks like, but the taxiway is a lot better detailed as well, uh, as well as the runway. In fact, the runway before was just literally a grey strip. Now you can see the tire marks, the, the paintings look a lot better, and of course it fits in with the rest of the scenery so much better. A little bit higher here. There's a few buildings as well to see. Okay. Let's do the final stage of flaps now. Bring this puppy down. Frames are getting a little bit more stable now, which is good. On a landing, that's what you need. I know that uh, some people have uh, said that they've had problems with uh, trees, uh, autogen trees sort of appearing on taxiways. And there is a update fix for that. Um, I got the installer that had all that applied to it already, so I didn't have to worry too much about it. But uh, here we go, drop the throttles, and let's get this start thing landed. Oh, it's a small stall before touchdown. So there we go. Uh, it looks like the, the, the runway marking is actually, there's like two of them, almost. They kind of look like they've got a ghosting thing going on here. Um, but there we go. Barbados. Right, so. Well, in the next video... We will be going back to America, back to Arizona, and we will be looking at Las Vegas. So we've got the Arizona mega scenery laid down, and I've got Las Vegas X by Aerosoft, and we're going to see what uh, it looks like after we've had a flight around what Orbex Global does to it. So thanks for watching this video. Till next time, keep flying.